The concept of law, law and justice, human behavior as the object of rules. General theory of law by Hans Kelsen. Law is an order of human behavior. An order is a system of rules. Law is not, as it is sometimes said, a rule. It is a set of rules having the king of unity we understand by a system. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Law Enforceable Rules Governing Relationships Among Persons Between Persons and Society It is impossible to grasp the nature of law if we limit our attention to the single isolated rule. The relations which link together the particular rules of a legal order are also essential to the nature of law. Only on the basis of a clear comprehension of those relations constituting the legal order can the nature of law be fully understood. The statement that law is an order of human behavior does not mean that legal order is concerned only with human behavior. Scientific and political definition of law. Any attempt to define a concept must take for its starting point the common use of the word denoting the concept in question. Law, as distinguished from justice, is positive law. The concept of law and the idea of justice. To free the concept of law from the idea of justice is difficult because both are constantly confused in a non-scientific political thought as well as in general speech and because this confusion corresponds to the ideological tendency to make positive law appear as just. What does it mean to say that a social order is just one? It means that this order regulates the behavior of man in a way satisfactory to all men that is to say so that all men find their happiness it is happiness that a man cannot find as an isolated individual and hence six in society justice is social social happiness as long as one defines the concept of happiness in its original narrow sense of individual happiness meaning by a man Men's happiness, what he himself considers it to be, as needs worthy of being satisfied, such as the need to be fed, clothed, and housed, but which human need are worthy of being satisfied, and especially what is their proper order of rank. These questions cannot be answered by means of ration cognition. Judgment of value determined by emotional factors and is therefore subjective in character. A positive system of values is not an arbitrary creation of the isolated individual but always the result of the mutual influence the individuals exercise upon each the result of the mutual influence the individuals exercise upon each other within a given group, it be family, tribes, class, caste, profession. Every system of values, especially a system of morals, its central idea of justice is a social phenomenon, the product of society, and hence different according to the nature of the society within which it arises. Natural law. Yet, the need for rational justification of our emotional acts is so great that we seek to satisfy it, even at the risk of self-deception. And the rational justification for a postulate based on a subjective judgment of value, that is, on a wish, for instance, that all men should be free or that all men should be treated equally is self-deception or what amounts to about the same thing it is an ideology.
Typical ideologies of this sort are the assertions that some sort of ultimate end and hence some sort of a definite regulation of human behavior proceeds from nature, that is from the nature of things or the nature of men, from human reason or the will of God. In such an, an assumption lies the essence of the doctrine of so-called natural law. This doctrine maintains that there is an ordering of human relations different from the positive law, higher and absolutely valid, and just because emanating from nature and from human reason or from the will of God. The will of God is in the natural law doctrine identical with nature in so far as nature is conceived of as created by God, and the laws of nature as expressions of God's will. Consequent, consequently, the laws determining nature have, according to this doctrine, the same character as the legal rules issued by a legislator. There are commands directed to nature, and nature obeys. This commands the laws of nature just as men obey the laws issued by a legislator, the law created by a legislator. Natural law. Natural law comprises the essential rules without which no human society could be considered just. Rules good for all times and place. Natural law assumes there is a higher or universal law that applies to all people everywhere. Assumes that law, rights and ethics are based on universal moral principles inherent in nature, discoverable through the human reason. According to Kelsen's account, he claims natural to be different from positive law under five counts objectivity, absolute value, absolute validity, Static structure and hierarchical superiority. Natural law is an objective order of a human conduct. Its existence does not depend on any human act of law making or law creation. It is instead a natural order intrinsic, inherent in nature, generally or in the specific nature of man and being. For humans, something given like mountains and oceans and the starry sky. Contrarywise, positive law is man made law. It is a human artifact, having necessarily a subjective character, since it necessarily depends on the subject acts of will of man, who happen to act as legal authorities in human society. Absolute value. Natural law is endowed with absolute value. Its norms are necessarily the norms of absolute justice, prescribing what is in itself just for every man at every time and place to do as regards the other man. Contrarywise, positive law norms are norms of justice only by way of consciousness, namely, if but only if they embody the natural law standards of absolute justice. They have consequently only a relative value. Indeed, if there is a value that may be considered as necessarily connected to positive law, this value is not justice, but peace. The value of peaceful society, obviously, peace may go along with gross violations of the standards of justice. As we all know, Positive law may bring peace at a very high price for the disadvantaged groups of society. Absolute validity. Provided natural law norms are endowed with absolute value, they are also endowed with absolute validity. They ought to be obeyed and applied as such, whatever the time and space they enjoy, as natural law theorists sometimes claim. And in a necessity because of the absolute validity or in a necessity of its norms. Natural law is an anarchical normative order. Coercion 
and organization don't figure among its structural features. Static structure. At least so far as mainstream MLT is considered natural law, ideally tends to be a static normative order, a set of norms that includes one basic material norm and the norms that revolve from it by means of a mere intellectual operation. For instance, the natural law order identified by the basic norm give, it, give to everyone his own is composed of the norm plus the norms arrived from it by way of right reasoning like don't steal comply with duly entered contracts don't take undue advantage of people in dire straits dire straits Contrarywise, positive law orders are essentially dynamic normative orders. They are a set of norms that include one basic normal or com competence norm. There are norms produced by the authorities that such a basic norm directly and indirectly establishes. Hierarchical superiority. Finally, due to its absolute value and absolute validity. Natural law represents a superior normative order as regards to inferior positive law orders. The relationship between the two normative orders is necessarily a relationship of hierarchical order. At his best, man is the noblest of all animals. Separate from law and justice, he is the worst.